So be honest, when was the last time you thought about the tech in a camping trailer? Well, it turns out these days it's pretty insane. So recently I flew out to San Jose to meet up with Stefan, who's the CTO of Pebble, to check this out. A fully functional prototype of the Pebble Flow. An electric travel trailer and a completely new take, in my opinion, on what it means to travel. So let's get into it. Starting with the exterior, it's pretty obvious that this trailer looks like no other trailer on the market. You're getting this really clean, minimal design, which personally I'm a huge fan of, but there's also a lot of intention behind the design. It's heavily focused on aerodynamics, giving you better stability and better miles per gallon or better range if you're towing with an EV. And like I said, Stefan, the CTO of Pebble, was kind enough to give us a completely private tour of everything they've been working on. It's extremely aerodynamic. Yeah. We have a lot of CFD simulations that went into uh, getting the ship and then this box here actually when you are at speed it goes up so why because then if this goes up here and this is going to be very very slippery okay so starting with the obvious this is a fully electric trailer so you're getting a 45 kilowatt hour battery that's about the same size as the tesla model 3 meaning depending on usage this could last you up to seven days on a single charge but there's also another pretty cool use for it pass through storage here on the other side so here you have the charge port. So this is the level one, level two, and this is fast charge. Uh, this is NEMA 1450. Cool. So when you have this next to your home, you can hook it up to your home. Very and cool. when power goes down, then this thing is going to power the entire home. Why? Because there are like 45 kilowatt hour LFP battery in there. So this is EV battery. This is the size of the three Tesla power walls. And then you have over a kilowatt of solar on the roof. Wow. So how long could it power a home for, do you think? Uh, a few days at least. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, depending on what you're doing. Oh, right, you, you're so you can use the Pebble Flow as backup power for your house if, say, you're in an emergency and just don't have power. Now, built into the axle is where you'll find the dual electric motors, which enables a ton of cool features. These motors are geared towards giving you a seamless towing experience. So even though the trailer is like 6,500 pounds, you can tow it with a mid sized SUV. And on top of the aerodynamics, the motors give you things like electric assist, which adds to that additional better range. But then on top of that, it also enables my favorite feature, which is that the pebble can actually move entirely on its own. This is our engineering vehicle. This is what we are using to go out and do tests in mud, muddy terrain, uh, uh, highway, things like that. The reason uh, we are here is because we want to solve problems, right? One of the biggest issues is maneuvering, parking. What you typically do is when you are coming into the campsite, you have your vehicle connected to the trailer and then you need to back it up. There are many products on the market that are trying to make that easier. We said no. We just completely changed the paradigm. So, okay, so this is, this is essentially the app. This is where remote control is. This is the first level of security. Uh, so you, you don't want anyone to just, the kids, grab the uh, command center or the console and start moving stuff around. Right. Obviously, there are others as well implemented in the vehicle. This is just the first layer. So touch ID and now we are in. This is just a rendering right now, but we will have uh, feeds uh, from cameras coming, uh, coming here and we talk about this in a moment. This is the command, forward, reverse, pivot left, pivot right. And then you need to have your other hand, so the, the thumb here, in order to activate. Because you don't want, uh, again, to, you know, someone no by mistake, movement. exactly, by mistake, start to control it. And now when I push this, mm -hmm. those, those activate, right? Very cool. So now let's see how this works. So essentially, like I said, this becomes more or less your fun remote control toy when you were a kid. It's super easy to control. It's super fun, especially on rough terrain. The point is, that you solve the problem of parking. Yeah. Right? Doesn't matter how tight the spot is. Doesn't matter how tight your campsite is. This is a child's play. Uh, what I was thinking sure. is that perhaps you can you, you can do this. So neat. It really is almost like playing a video game. Yeah, I mean, even just like this simple, you know, maneuvering to, you know, watch the car and the holes and whatnot. Exactly. I won't hit anything, I promise. Exactly. And you need this for the first time. Yeah, yeah, and it's super intuitive. Yeah. So, very cool. Seriously, it was kind of crazy just how intuitive it was to maneuver this thing around. And then on top of that, the Flow has an instant cam feature. So with the press of a button, it lowers down the stabilizer legs, pops out the stairs, and lowers down that aerodynamic hood in the front, allowing you to have those windows back as well. And then speaking of doing things with the press of a button, there's also sensors at the front of the Flow, which allow for the magic hitch feature. Basically, all you have to do is get the Flow close to your car, press a button, and it will identify where the hitch is and automatically hitch the Flow onto your vehicle. Really, the only thing I have is one button the hitch button again same thinking you can just 
push it so that nothing happens accidentally. You push this, now it is active. I'm not doing anything, it's just holding this button. And then uh, essentially it's a, a full robotic stack that's involved in this. We are talking about perception, planning, controls. And what it does, it looks at the, at the ball, it aligns in height, it goes all the way to the right position above the ball and then it lowers uh, the coupler and connects all the way to like the vehicle. And that's so simple, Yeah, nothing else. And kind of the common theme here is with the press of a button, you're eliminating a ton of hassles that might stand between you and going out on the weekend with your trailer. All right, so now that we've seen the exterior, let's go inside and check out the actual living space. Now, my first impression walking into this was, wow, it's a lot more spacious than I thought it was gonna be. Welcome in. It's so cool. Wow. It's pretty clear to see that the interior matches the exterior of the Pebble Flow. You have all of these really nice finishes, edge lighting all over the entire interior. And then you also have these panoramic windows that give you a 270 degree view. It's really panoramic view. We went out in so many places with this. The latest one was, um, uh, the latest time we went out on Highway 1 and by the lighthouse there, it's just like, epic views that you get in here. It's epic. That's cool. Now you might notice that there's not actually any blinds around the trailer, but that's actually because all of the glass is electronically dimmable, which I'll show you in a bit. But first, let me take you on a quick tour. So starting all the way at the back of the trailer, you have this nice open area, which you can use for essentially a lot of things. For starters, this is where you have the main Murphy bed, which is super easy to lift up and down. And then on top of that, it's actually pretty comfy, which is nice. You also have a nice blank wall. So if you want to throw up, say a projector or something and watch TV, you have that option. Now, if you put the Murphy bed up, you get this nice open open space with a built-in desk so you can do work or eat or kind of do whatever you want. And then you also will notice that you have storage everywhere. And lots of storage. Um, this is just opening like that. In uh, our next iteration in the beta vehicles, this is changed. It's going to be opening from bottom up okay. as a result of uh, feedback from our uh, community. And we are really, really proud of our online community already. There's so many people that are helping us with ideas to discuss. So that's really, really vibrant, really, really cool. Awesome. It's just always nice when companies are actually receptive to what people want, because you can tell that they're focused on building the best product. Now, moving down to the kitchen, there's a few tricks up its sleeve that I really like. For starters, you're actually getting a decent amount of counter space, which is something that I really appreciate because I like a lot of prep space. And then actually a pretty big sink and then some nice finishes like soft closed drawers, for example. Of course, you have an electric stove, but the electric stove is cool because it actually can pop out if you want to say cook outside. No more propane means that even this is electric. It's actually an induction cooktop and the cool stuff with it is that you can take it out and you can put it out there and then you can cook uh, you know outside you remove it from here and then you can cook outside and you can shower here oh Yay. cool <laughs> <laughs> and then down to the side of the kitchen module is where you'll find the actual tablet to control the entire trailer as well now across from the kitchen you'll find the bathroom which is all glass and i'm sure you're thinking how does that work privacy wise and this is where pebble has thought about everything bathroom this is a dry bathroom so you see the toilet and the shower is separated, right? So this is the wet area and this is the dry area. Uh, one good thing here is that everything is made out of glass, right? Right. Why is that? Initially, what we did is was, was not glass. It was just normal material. But then when you walk here and you walk by, it feels a bit close. Yeah. yeah? So then our designer, interior designer came in and put glass in and it really opens it, it up. It opens it up. Yeah. Now, obviously there are some privacy issues here, right? Which, which we solve with technology, right? And that's essentially the theme and the, of our, our design. We are using cool stuff, cool technologies. You will see more of this today because we want to solve problems. We are not doing cool stuff because it's cool. It turns out that what we are doing is cool and serves a purpose. It right. really needs to sol solve an issue. Now moving down the line, you'll find a very generously sized fridge and then what looks like a microwave above, but it's also a convection oven and an air fryer. So you can do pretty much all kinds of cooking in this thing. And then next to that, you'll find again, extra storage. And then finally, at the end of the trailer, you have this nice dinette seating area. This is, a, this is the uh, dinette area. And probably we can sit here more. Uh, sometimes now it's a bit more difficult because the team grew but I was having my stand-ups here. <laughs> That's cool. you know? um, so, so it's very, very comfortable. You will sit here, you will see. But the, the other cool thing here is that you, you can push this table down. Okay, I see. And so this one goes down and then it's more or less to this level. 
and then you can put these two cushions here and then you will have a bed for two people cool. of my size, not a problem. It's always fun seeing modern tech companies put a lot of time into genuinely solving problems versus just making a really high-end product and then slapping a high price tag on it. You can tell that this team is really passionate about the RV community and they're actually trying to solve issues or headaches that they've had out on the road traveling or camping over the years. Honestly, I'm pretty excited for all the EV tech that seems to be coming up, not just within this trailer, but with just vehicles in general. So hopefully we get to cover more of that stuff soon. But as always, thanks again for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about this down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Pebble, thanks again for having me out and I'll see you guys in the next one.